What's up, Cancer? It's your girl Kelly coming straight at you for the Queen's Tarot B in Boston. So, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. Cross Archers, welcome to the Queen's Tarot B. My hair is super fuzzy today. It's driving me crazy. Sorry. Anyway, welcome to the Queen's Tarot B. If you have comments or want to share your story, please feel comfortable to do so. Um, also, if the energy comes in vice versa for you, please go ahead and leave it in the comments. I want to know how the energies are coming in for me at this time. Um, uh, please like, share, subscribe, get this message out to as many cancers as we can because right now is a very pivotal and critical time and I want to be able to help as many people as I can while we're going through whatever crisis the government's creating um, is definitely going to cause a spiritual crisis. And so I want to be able to help as many people as I can. So like, share, subscribe, get this message out there, and let's help all our fellow Cancers. All right, guys. Um, what I'm feeling for you this month is that you're giving someone an opportunity, um, maybe a second chance, okay? And this person, it's like give them an inch and they'll run 30 miles with it type of person around you. Um, it feels like, like this, right? Say you're giving your girlfriend the chance to stop drinking or doing drugs and they continue to do it, but they put you off and tell you, oh, you know, I'm going to do it next week. I'm going to do it next week. I'm going to do it next week. And you're getting aggravated and you know that this person is just continuously going to give you excuses, feed you excuses. And that's kind of the idea here is that you're at this crossroad and you're like, I'm not sure if I want to be with this person. Um, all they do is continue to talk, 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 but they're not quitting drinking or quitting drugs or, you know, um, not sleeping around anymore, not cheating on me. They're still doing all the same stuff. Um, and it's like, they want you to see the situation for something it's not and be blind and stay in the situation. And this is weird. This is very uncomfortable feeling of like, okay, so you know that I'm doing you wrong, but I still want you to stay with me. It's a very awkward feeling, Cancer. Um, and your intuition is kicking in big time. Like, you're doing me wrong and you want me to stay with you. Like, what in the actual fuck? Like, type of... It, the dynamic is very odd between you two. Um, I don't see this person making an offer towards you that's steady, that's grounded, that's... Um, that's in your best interest right now in your spiritual journey. Um, you know, judgment will go in your favor. This person is an equal reciprocator. Okay. Um, the judgment. Hold on. They're talking a lot. So let me just confer with them. Um, Here's the problem is that they're saying going forward, he's doing the same thing. He's making offers to other people and equally reciprocating with you, but he's not making an offer to you is what they're telling me. Um, I hope that makes sense for some of you. Uh, if it doesn't fit, doesn't fit, it is a general reading. If you're interested in a uh, more private personal reading, uh, they are confidential and the prices have just gone down. Not that they were insanely high anyway, um, but the prices have just gone down again, um, back to what they were, and there's a new list of services. So if you're interested in trauma counseling, um, you know, for ideal was a forensic rehabilitation specialist, and also, you know, uh, spiritual counseling and tarot, then go ahead and email me. Email's in the box below. Um, <clears throat> It looks like your home life is disrupted. Your love life is disrupted. You're just in the balance right now of what is good for your path. You're literally teetering on what is good for your path. It's like you're on a tightrope that's like a string. And you just are balancing barely. And you're not feeling good about this situation. And you're not feeling good in this situation, Cancer. You guys really need to get out of this situation. This is not good for you. Um, the 
don't get to the point where you invoke the Queen of Swords energy and the King of Swords energy because the Queen of Swords energy that you're going to pull in She's just going to want to swing that sword and cut out everything because of the pain of getting out of this, okay? And you're going to need to be careful on who you swing that at and cut out of your life. And so you need to be really, really careful when you do this and make sure that you're grounded, okay? When you start cutting people out of your life, figuring out where you are on your spiritual journey or where you're supposed to be, whatever that is, whatever that looks like for you. Um... You need to be careful not to use that um, Queen of Swords energy in the reverse. You don't want to be cutting off everybody because of what you're going through. So let's give a shuffle and find out what else we have. Um, looks like a pretty emotional month for you guys. I'm sorry. It's been an emotional month for everybody though, I think. You know, especially Pisces and going into Aries, it's it's going to be pretty rough on us with that Merc Retro uh, shadow. <laughs> it's going to be pretty rough. Um, my 40th birthday is March 27th, so it's in the shadow of Mercury Retrograde. Lucky me. And if there is an electronic that could break down in this house, it already did. Between cars, internet, camera, microphone, phone... Whatever you have it, it has shit the bed in the past, like, month. My husband's car died, like, two days ago. Coming home with groceries. So glad he didn't have the baby. Two more shuffles, guys. And yes, the baby's doing amazing. She's three and a half months old now. Although they're going by gestational age, so technically she's a month and almost two weeks. Um, so it's a little weird to have two ages, but they're going by gestational and, um, I'm filling three shuffles this way. All right. Almost done cancer. Just listening to the instructions so I can give you the best reading possible. Um, I feel like this is just a very emotional month for you guys. Like this person really touches you deep inside and it's like, I don't know. It's very odd, the feeling I have. Two and one. The one card that refused to come up was the Ten of Swords in reverse. So there's a situation here where you've been um, backstabbed, talked about, um, shamed... This is the type of shit people do when they're jealous is that they come at you with that ten of swords in your back right so you know you've been shamed you've been ridiculed you've been had a friend turn on you um you've had workmates talking about you your boss hates you and she's trying to fire you or he's trying to fire you whatever that might look like for you you do have something in your recent past of getting fucked over by somebody now the first card that comes up after that from the bottom of the deck is the six of wands reverse so there's there's no victory over whatever this situation is for you this ten of swords and it very well could be related to what we were just talking about and how you need to let go of this person this is toxic it does have the Ace of Wands telling you it's time to go forward on your own. It's time to start a new journey. Physically, start a new journey. The Wands stand for physicality. So, physically, they're telling you start a new journey. You're not going to win here. This person is going to continue with the Ten of Swords behavior. With that, you have strength in reverse, okay? So, you need to pull up all your strength. Pick yourself up by the fucking bootstraps, okay, guys? not trying to be mean okay I get it everybody gets heartbroken everybody goes through it it's the hardest thing to go through but pick yourself up by those bootstraps and flip the strength upside down you've got to in order to get out of this and be okay to date again you've got to you've got the knight of swords with the five of cups 
So I feel like the situation, this Ten of Swords, came in pretty sharp. It came in pretty harsh. Um, and it caused some a lot of devastation for you. I feel like this is a recent past type of thing for you. It's kind of weird. Um, wow. This is juicy, guys. It's like being on a soap opera. Just saying. Um, you've got the Nine of Swords with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like this is a recent past. Like, you've spent many nights crying over this person. Um, many nights trying to... What's that verse by Rihanna? Um... I tried to buy your heart, but the price too high. I'm trying to think of the words. Um, I can't think of it. But anyway, it's like what she ends up saying is, what do I have to do to get in your motherfucking heart? Like, what is it going to take? And that's kind of what I feel for, from this right now. And so, you know there's a lot of confusion here with the seven of cups and the queen of wands in reverse the queen of wands in reverse could be you could be your partner could be your sister whatever the hell is going on here i feel more like it's a partner um whatever's going on here it seems like there's a lot of options so maybe you have a lot of options that you've been talking to on the side or they have a lot of options they've been talking to on the side. One of you. Um, third party situation. Three of cups. With judgment and justice in the reverse. So it looks like from this standpoint that this person's very in and out. They do what they want. It's like, I want you to stay, but I still want to do what I want to do. And that's not right, Cancer. Okay? That's not right. So if it's you doing it or if it's them doing it, it's not right. You don't expect someone to stay when they're looking for a monogamous relationship and continuously go out and get other guys or get other girls. That's just not acceptable. That's not something you stay for. And I feel like that's the type of person that we're dealing with here. If I were you guys, I'd be out. Just saying. Nobody deserves this. Very in and out energy. Shows up when he wants something and usually shows up drunk. Or she shows up wasted. Um, and of course, carrying all her burdens to your house. I feel like this is someone who show up at like 2 o'clock in the morning. Drunk and wasted and doesn't care if you have a new girlfriend or boyfriend. And they come in with their problems. And it's like I see some of you giving them money or whatever it is that they're going through. Um, but they're not, they're not giving back is the problem. Is they're indulging. We see the devil here with the page of pentacles. Okay, they're indulging. They're not giving anything back to you, but they're giving everything back to this addiction or whatever it is that they're going through. Some of you are just wishing for a redemption here. You're wishing for um, this two of cups to get back together, to reconcile and be okay. Be able to get to a healthy place in this relationship. But I don't want to really be the one to tell you that this relationship is not good for you. <laughs> this is something you have to let go of. And so hoping for reconciliation is not something that you really want. That person's not going to change, honey. You've got the Nine of Pentacles and you've got the Knight of Wands. So this person comes in and it's like they just ruin your whole mojo. 
like they come in and they come in your personal garden and your personal space and it's like they just ruin your whole mojo and then they're on their way and they just stop in to remind you that you need to see the world the way they see it in this mirror all blindfolded and wrapped up when if you look at her outside the mirror there is nothing wrong with her but gaining balance is what will stop this manipulation this is a manipulation a mind fuck a, I want you to see things the way I want you to see things so I'm going to tell you just these stories or just this little bit of information so you'll shut up type of thing and of course here we go again this just happened in another reading they use the you know I'm pure of heart I'm your I'm your four of wands I'm your twin flame blah 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 how could you leave they're not your twin flame if they could go out and do what they're doing behind your back they're not a twin flame because no twin flame would be able to do this They're saying it's going to be time to take a chance, Cancer. Okay, time to take a, a leap of something that you've been waiting to do. Whatever it is, it feels really positive and warm and I hear water. And it's crashing up against a wall. Um, it feels like a cool, warm, beautiful night at the beach. Whatever it is that you've been planning, it's saying to take a chance on it. I don't know if you're opening a business. Um, if you're wanting to or whatever this is um, for you anyway they're saying take the chance on it okay um, you've got the card of Aries and you've got the ten of Pentacles so with these two cards it shows you standing right in your power okay you want your home life happy cancer is all messed up until their home life's fixed no fucks given until the home life is fixed cancer will go crazy they'll hide in their shell and so here you are standing right in your power trying to make sure that your home is calm no matter what you're going through here so that way you have a place to go that you can unload and uh, unleash person definitely has somebody on the side you've got the lovers in reverse and my mistress card they may be leading a double life maybe you don't know about this person or may maybe it's what I said earlier you do know but you stay and you're just sitting at this crossroad okay you're sitting at this crossroad You've got the Hanged Woman, the King of Swords Reverse, and this Two of Wands Reverse. So it's like you're not gaining any knowledge, you're not gaining any information. The King of Swords Reverse is somebody who can be downright nasty. I don't associate it with signs, so please don't get it twisted and say that I don't like air signs. <laughs> what I'm saying is that I, when I look at this card, I attribute an energy to it. So a certain energy, when it comes out and I feel it, that's what I dislike. So it's nothing to do with the signs that are, you know, stand for this card. Um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, you're good in my book. Um, but this hanged man status with this King of Swords worries me for the fact that the King of Swords can get very nasty very quickly boom like a drop of hat so you need to be very careful on how you handle this person but you are definitely at a crossroad of I see some travel here um, so maybe some of you were thinking about traveling not advisable at the time just throwing that out there but hey um, you're at a crossroad and that crossroad is just stagnant and it will continue to be stagnant until you handle the situation guys one of these days, I'm going to get you a reading that is so good, you guys will love me. I swear. I'm sorry, Cancer. 
I know I'm blunt and it's hard to hear. I don't mean to be blunt. I'm just, it's just the way I am. I'm an Aries sun and an Aries rising with a Leo moon and a Leo Mars. So I'm kind of just very fiery, but I don't mean it. I mean it with good intention. All right, guys, this is your girl Kelly coming straight at you for the Queen Tarot V in Boston, and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye, guys.